Hi, I'm Tracy Arney. I'm a nurse practitioner from Gilbert, Arizona. I specialize in pediatric pulmonary asthma and allergy. Children that cough and cough frequently may have asthma. Kids that wake up at night coughing, kids that cough during exercise, kids that cough with every cold may have asthma. It's important to work this up and look at that and put them on medications that control them. The EPR3 from the National Institutes of Health state that kids that cough in the middle of the night and wake up two nights a month or more, kids that need their short-acting bronchodilator twice a week or more probably have persistent asthma and they need to be medicated daily to control airway inflammation to present symptoms. It is my recommendation as well as those of National Institute of Health that the drug choice is inhaled corticosteroids to control that inflammation. Teaching your patients and your children how to use that medicine is really important. Showing them how to use inhalers and the appropriate technique will help the medication work better. It's also important to explain to families and to your kids that when you don't have symptoms, it doesn't mean you don't have asthma problems. And it's really important to keep these kids on medicines daily, even when they're not having symptoms. It can take two to three weeks for inhaled steroids to actually start working. And to keep it continued working, it needs to leave the container and end up in the airway. Our whole goal is to keep these kids healthy, active, not missing school, not waking up at night, and growing. Children tend to grow more when they're sleeping, but if their sleep is disturbed because they're having recurrent asthma problems, that can also be a problem in growth. So I recommend that we teach all of our patients at every visit how to use their inhalers, how to use them correctly, and encourage them to stay on their medicines on a daily basis.